Hello, Deborah with Preservation Publications and Preservation 2012 on YouTube. I want to just lead with this headline. Deadly antibiotic resistant superbug spreads in Southern California. LA County Care Facilities reported 350 cases in six months, health officials say. I just want to give you uh, some information on antibiotic prescriptions, how they are abused and used, and a little bit about antibiotic soaps and hand rinses. Anytime you use an antibiotic and you don't finish the prescription or uh, you stop when you feel better, you're giving the opportunity for that bacteria in your body to strengthen and become resistant to that antibiotic. That's true across the board. When you use hand sanitizers and it says that it only kills 99% of germs, that's what it means. It only kills 99% of germs. That 1% is resistant to the, um, the wash and is in the process of becoming a superbug. Just by way of statistics for our edification, over 190 million doses of antibiotics are administered each day in hospitals, and more than 133 million of courses of antibiotics are prescribed by physicians each year. That's a lot of antibiotics that's floating around out there. And just for a heads up, some strains of staph, as well as some strains of tuberculosis and other infections, have developed resistance to traditional antibiotics after decades of exposure to them. And we're only making it worse by using these hand washes that kill, you know, 99% of the, the bacteria on our hands. I never liked the thought of walking around with dead bacteria on my hand in the first place. And I've always believed in good old-fashioned hand washing over any kind of medicinal application to the hands to eliminate germs. The only way that we can build up resistance and our children can build up resistance is by being exposed to them, not by eliminating and killing them. One of the traditions of the American Indians was when they had an injury to uh, their body that resulted in an open wound was that they smeared dirt into it because dirt has natural antibiotics in it. Now, antibacterial products were, were developed for use in hospitals, not to be used by the general public. But Madison Avenue saw a market and went out there and pushed fear onto the public by saying, use this product so you don't get sick. It also implies that you have very poor hygiene habits and that you don't take very good care of your children. This infuriates me because this is not the truth of the situation. This is what Madison Avenue wants you to think to push a product. And they're pushing a product that is harmful, not helpful to all of us. Now to make all of this worse, um, agribusiness is using antibiotics to keep the animals that we consume healthy. The antibiotics stay in the meat which we consume and also leaches into the uh, water which we drink. The use of lemon juice, bleach, and certain alcohols are also effective because they do not leave a residue that allow bacteria to adapt to the residual environment. But they kill bacteria by causing the cells to rupture or altering the environment so that they cannot thrive. The other thing that we're doing by killing off bacteria is that we're killing off the, the good bacteria too, which we need. For example, we need to have bacteria in our systems to digest food. We need bacteria in our systems to fight off other bacteria. And we're, there's no discrimination using these products. They kill the good along with the bad, and in the process, they're creating super germs or superbugs. 
So when Madison Avenue tells us their lies about these products, don't believe them and pass them by. Opt for a good old bar of soap, good hand washing, and if you're still not comfortable, grab a couple of lemons. Until next time, for our families, our neighbors, our friends, and our communities, preservation.